I've been busy going viral on TikTok. I had uh, I had a joke about millennials from Modern Mail that went viral, and um, got four million views as of today. It's been up for like a week, I think, or two, and nobody got offended by it. Like even people with anxiety, because I was making fun of our generation, how like everybody has anxiety, but no one's getting better. Everyone just tells people like, I have anxiety. And it's like, oh, well, what are you doing about that? Nothing, I'm telling you, so you work around it. And that's the joke. And with a couple extra tags and, you know, a little more personality, because I'm actually on stage performing it. Um, for the most part, nobody got upset. A bunch of people followed me. I went from like 8,000 followers to 100,000 followers. It was a lot. And then, uh, I posted another video. It was my closer from Modern Mail. Uh, the stick, sh the I, I make fun of myself because I can't drive a stick shift, and then I say how stupid it is that people still drive stick shifts, and people lost their minds. Like I've never gotten so much backlash from any joke that I've like. This is the one that pit transmissions. That's where people drew the line. And when you hear that, like when. If I say that out loud, like, I offended a lot of people with a transmission joke, you would assume after the first half of the word of transmission, you were like, oh, you shouldn't have done that joke, and then I finished the word, and you, oh, vehicles? You mean vehicles? I thought you made a transgender joke. No, I made fun of transmissions. The transmissions where there's a clutch and you gotta do this with a stick to get it into first or whatever. I made fun of that and a bunch of dudes with pictures of their car as their profile pic lost their minds. They took it as a personal slight. I am insensitive. I have triggered them. I'm, I, I, I am, uh, how dare I? Where, where do I come off? Like uh, off Mount Olympus saying that I'm better than them. And they really took this joke right in the ass. Like they, I, of all the jokes, I wouldn't have guessed that one. The most harmless, harmless. I think the only other joke that I have that is more harmless than that is the cream cheese lady story, where I'm talking about a lady fingering cream cheese at the TSA pre or TSA check thing before we hopped on a flight. And I'm scared to post that now. Because who knows? There might be a bunch of people who are lactose intolerant that come out going, well, that's very insensitive. How dare you talk about dairy like that? I, I couldn't believe it. The only conclusion I could come to is something that I suspected all along. And I'm, I'm sure people have come to this conclusion as well. We're all snowflakes. Like that term started from one side making fun of like liberals or something. Like, oh, it's a bunch of snowflakes. Can't handle the truth. You know? We're all snowflakes. Everyone has their thing they get butthurt about. And I somehow found the group of dudes that love the movie Fast and the Furious. And they were deeply offended by me making fun of myself not being able to drive a stick shift. That's what they got upset about. Everyone has their thing. I don't know, what my, I think my thing is like the trailer park. Like, if someone makes fun of the trailer park, I'll be like, hey, those are good people that live there, because I grew up in the trailer park. Even though I also make fun of the trailer park, but it's different because it's me. I'm allowed to make fun of it. You're not allowed. That is not how this works. But yeah, a bunch of people got buttered. And then some of those comments came over into YouTube, and those, it was so funny because all those dudes that got offended, their profile picture is like the front of their car. So it was almost like I was being heckled by an Acura. That's kind of what it looked like. Yeah, you know, it was like some guy named Justin. It's always a guy named Justin. What is it with dudes named Justin that love Fast and the Furious and driving a stick shift? I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't figured out what the connection is, but I honestly, if I went through all the negative comments on TikTok and the ones that came over on YouTube, they were all named Justin and I was staring into the headlights of like a Honda Accord. It, it was very strange. I'm, listen. If you're listening to this and you're, I'm not against you. I'm not even against Fast and the Furious. I, it's a fine movie. I'm a big fan of The Rock. I liked the first one. The second one got weird. The third one was horrible. But then like the last nine of them have been good, I think. I've watched a few. There's that one in Brazil where they stole like a safe out of a bank with two Toyotas, which was pretty far-fetched, but hey, the whole thing's far-fetched. The idea that a manual transmission vehicle is necessary in the 21st century is far-fetched. But they still made the movie. 
And I'm still, listen, if you're into those cars, great. I'm not, I was making fun of myself because I can't learn it and I have this much, uh, what's the word? I have this much uh, give a care to want to learn. Does that make sense? I can't do what you do and I could care less to even learn because it seems like a waste of my time. I feel like I'm insulting you more with this apology, but I'm gonna keep going, I'm sorry. The skill that you have to drive a, tra a, a manual transmission vehicle, in my eyes, is like being great at hula hooping. It's cool, I guess, but I don't wanna watch you do it for more than 10 seconds, and I don't wanna take the time to learn. That's all I'm saying. Live your life, be yourself, I support you. If there is anything that ever comes up on a ballot that says, hey, should people who drive manual transmissions, should they be allowed and be given the same freedoms as every other Americans? Absolutely. Yes, you're one of us. I believe in you and you're a fellow uh, human on this planet with me and I respect you. I just think the, the skill is as pointless as a telegram. It's, it's irrelevant. It's from yesterday. Are you a race car driver? No, you're not. Do you wanna be? Probably. I mean, I slept in a race car bed too, but then I, I got older, you know? I started getting hair where there wasn't hair before, and I started to be interested in gals. Things happened. And I'm not saying those things didn't happen for you, but you went through all those metamorphoses of becoming an older person while keeping the race car bed. Just deep in your heart. Just deep in your heart. You went from the race car bed and then you bought a Honda Fit. Or probably a Civic. Not a Honda Fit, you bought a Honda Civic. And then you're like, hey, we need to lower it and put some tires on it. And it's not loud enough. We need to make this car louder. By the way, I used to have a Honda Civic like that. But it was an automatic because I couldn't drive the stick thing. And it had a big loud dumb thing in the back where it went brrrr. And I thought it was cool, but no one touched my penis and now I know why. It was because of that. This is my apology to you. It was rambling, and I'm not really sure where it was gonna go, but it went where it went. Live your life. Drive your manual transmission. I just don't wanna learn your skill because I can't think of a use for it. You know? Maybe, maybe if life was not realistic, and life was an action movie where I just had to drive different cars in every scene. And some are manual, some are automatic. But that's not real life, for me anyway. I'm not on the run, I'm not on the lam. I'm just going to the airport. And guess what, most of the time I'm not driving myself. I call an Uber. Someone left that comment, they're like, obviously you're not a car guy. And I'm like, ah, I'm not against cars, I'm just more of like an Uber guy. Like, how's that back seat look? Cause that's where I'm gonna be sitting. Is there a good amount of room to spread my elbows and go through my phone while I wait to get to the airport? Cause that's what my life's about. Keep driving the manuals, buddy. You're doing great. That was my big apology. Um...